Welcome to our lesson on constructing truth tables for inverse, converse, and contrapositive statements. So our objective is for us to illustrate the equivalences of the statement in its inverse, converse, and contrapositive statement. Now for a truth table, okay, this is actually a chart of rows and columns which shows the true values. So we will be using T for true and then F for false of every possible combination of a given statement. Now let's take a look at the simple truth table that we have that is a truth table for negation okay so if the value of p is true then we have false okay and then if the value of p is false then the negation would be true let's take a look at the if then statement so here the truth table would require your p column and then q as well as if p and then q right now p would have true or false values and then Q would also have true or false values. So 2 times 2, we have 4. So we have 4 possible options. So I have already listed out P as true, true, false, false. And then for Q, we have true, false, true, false. So as you can see, no two possible combinations have been um, duplicated in our table. Now, for the third column okay if p then q if both statements are true right then the result would be true if your hypothesis is true and then the conclusion is false then it's false if your hypothesis is false and then the conclusion is true then you have true and then if both statements are false then we also have true so now we have already created your if then statement truth table right now let's move on to your inverse so here you have to construct the column for the negation of p negation of q and then if negation of p then negation of q so here as you can see i have already listed out the negation for p so i have false false true true Okay, and then the negation of Q, I have false, true, false, true. Now, I just need to focus on this portion of my table here, right? Okay, so if both statements are false, then we have true. If the hypothesis is false and then the conclusion is true, then that's true. If the hypothesis is true and then the conclusion is false, then we have false. And if both statements are true, they have true, right? So there you have it. That's your inverse statement truth table. So now we have also your converse statement. So we have to um, fill out the table for P, Q, and then if Q, then P columns, right? So here for us um, to say this in an easier way, I have a written your P at the right of Q so that I can just focus on this portion of my table here right so if we have two true statements then that is true right and then if your hypothesis is false and then the conclusion is true then that is true if my hypothesis is true and my conclusion is false then i get a false one take note of that guys if both statements are false then i have true so again your conditional statement is only false if and only if the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false. Now, looking at your contrapositive truth table, I will now need your negation for P and then negation of Q. Then the last column would be if negation of Q, then negation of P. So as you can see, I have written down the column for negation of Q first before your negation of P. So I can just focus on these values now here guys so if both statements are false then i have true if the hypothesis is true and then the conclusion is false and i have false and then if the hypothesis is false and the conclusion is true then it's true and if both statements are true i have true as well right so take note this is the only time that my false statement occurs so now this will be the summary of your truth table so in addition to um, looking at the first statement being true and then the second statement as false, which gives you a false statement. 
you can also say here that your conditional statement as well as your contrapositive are equivalent. And then your inverse and converse statements are equivalent as well. Okay? So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. I hope you have learned a lot.